Do you guys want to edit like this on keyboard and mouse on Xbox or PlayStation or even PC? Alright, the first thing before I even get to the in lobby settings and everything else, map codes, all of that, Fortnite settings, all of that. First thing for all keyboard players, you must have this thing called timer resolution. You guys can look up videos on it on your own time. I can't provide any links. It's just software every keyboard player uses and it decreases input delay in Fortnite. But 100% I recommend that. Be sure to look into that, but uh, on to the lobby settings. So basically, the steps when you're in the lobby, you guys go to your settings. First, if you guys don't already, I recommend playing performance mode. This is for the PC users. If you're on console, uh, if you're on the PS5 next gen, I also recommend performance mode. Uh, I recommend copying the settings I have. If you also play like in real games, view distance at medium is not bad. But uh, performance mode overall, I recommend. Even if you have a good PC, this just makes your game run like butter. Uh, this is like the best shit that they've ever added to the game not even a cap uh, second up uh, make sure you guys do have confirm edit on release it's like one of the most crucial things you don't even have to use it you can just have it on I know people heard this a million times everybody knows this one <coughs> make sure you guys have replays off make sure you guys have all of them off you want the least input delay possible I keep them on because I do play like comp and shit just to look back at replays and shit by review uh, Make sure you guys have off the stuff that you don't need, like quest progression, all the other shit. Make sure you guys have all of the shit that you don't need in here off in the HUD option. <coughs> also, another thing is, make sure you guys do go over to your settings all the way to the right. And make sure you guys do turn off all this extra stuff in here. Like but quick. if you guys have like a lot of friend requests stacked up like this, uh, it's bad. Because uh, it causes a bunch of input delay like all the console players and shit and uh... yeah that's bad so uh... make sure you guys turn that off and uh... that's pretty much it for being in the lobby that's pretty much all you need to turn off oh, another thing is make sure you guys do have off subtitles subtitles right here make sure you guys turn this off turn it from on to off make sure you guys have apply on that and all this extra stuff you need to worry about and that's pretty much it for in the lobby of everything you need to know about. Another thing is, when you guys do load up into creative, if you guys know a friend, or if you guys have a code yourselves, load up a custom matchmaking code and go into creative. This is one of the best options on this list. Do not forget this. You will get the lowest ping possible when you load into a map. Like, literally. Like, you will get the lowest ping, lowest input delay when you load into your own custom creative. I don't know why it's like that, but this gives you the least input delay, like, of all these things on this list. And uh, this works for PC and console. I was on console when I dropped my last video, as you guys saw, and I used to do this all the time. It's like the best thing on console. On PC, it makes a difference, but like, I wouldn't really at the same time recommend getting used to this because this, it gives you so much. Like, if you're a creative head, a creative warrior, yes, this is fucking godly, but like, I don't recommend getting used to this because the input delay is, li it's like no input delay, literally. Like, when you go in here, and if you get used to it, you're going to like hate playing the real game you're like bro what is this input delay type shit you feel me but uh, I don't recommend doing this but uh it's up to you guys <laughs> but uh yeah like if you're doing like 3v3s and shit they're already laggy enough so just adding like this to it makes the 3v3 kind of like normal uh but uh, that's up to you guys right, and uh, another thing is is when you guys go into creative this is not really about input delay it's more about putting in a map code that is recommended uh when you guys load into creative make sure you guys load up low ping maps map for better ping maps uh... this one i made on like my old account uh... it's up to you guys if you guys want to use it it's like my old name and shit uh, you guys can copy this code on the screen if you guys want it's also a really good map to use just all you gotta do is put this map inside of all all spots map for better ping you just gotta put this you guys can copy the code right here uh... this is my old name and shit it's my old map it still works it's basically a map with absolutely nothing in it as you guys can see and then yeah it's just like a, a dark box it's literally nothing in this map but uh... basically it takes out these lobby filling maps that they all like I said once again is like godly for console because like I said I remember playing on console I played on console for literally three years on Fortnite and uh... yeah these maps right here like you go into this shit and, like th th this is what you're left with you feel me like like what the fuck is this like nobody plays this shit that's my check nobody plays this shit bro there's just a bunch of stuff in here that like nobody uses, you feel me? 
Like it's just in the background while you're in your map pre-building and shit, and it's causing a bunch of delay. Another thing is uh, these portals. A lot of people gonna ask questions. You can't get rid of these portals. Like these are like I I, I hate. Like, I actually feel bad because I used to be on console, bro. This shit used to be so annoying. Like these maps like this cause so much input delay. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And that's pretty much the end of this video. And uh, that's pretty much how to remove input delay, all input lag on console, PC, anywhere you play, bro. That's the best tips and tricks. You won't hear a lot of that stuff on other people's channels. A lot of them go like halfway. That's pretty much all of the shit that you need to know. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and we out.